In this video, we're going to focus on how to wrap long text with the split text to size function in JSPDF. And we have prepared now a lot for our item. If we scroll down here, we have now everything ready here. We have set our margins, we have set our uh, portrait shape, and we have also set the um, uh, format for the A4, or basically for the paper size. So if I click on this here, you can see here, we have this and we have our nice margin lines here. So the text should be here between. You might have noticed, and I've noticed as well, that this one is suddenly not working. So we're going to remove that. Sometimes this stuff counteracts, so that will mean that we need to rebuild the code because we have changed a few items. So it doesn't matter. What I want to do here is the most important one. I want to focus here on this specific item here, which is the long text ID. That was the biggest issue here. So to do this, we're going to work on doing some other items. So the first thing what I want to do here is I want to say here, all right, break the long text then in here we're going to say here text lines and this here should not be a constant so this is very important so we say it ta text lines and then we say equal and we put in here pdf dot and then set a font so we're going to set the font here we can say here for example we want uh, Arial and then what I want to do here is no semicolon here by the way we have to do it like this, really exactly the same, or else it will give you an error. We say a dot, and in this dot, we will say set font size. And what will be our font size? Let's say 12 pixels. Enter. So no, no comma as well, nothing at all. And then we say here dot split text to size. And in here, we're going to say here basically two items. What we really want to do is the following. I want to make the text, or what's the text you want to grab? Well, let's get it here and uh, let's search for it. Long text. That's the first value, long text dot inner text. And comma will be how long will basically the text be before it needs to break to a new line. And basically what we want to do is from here to here. So what is the size of this here? We know that the width here, the full width is eight point. 25 as we have here. That's why it's an A4. However, we have added a margin of 0 0.5 here and a margin of 0 0.5 here. So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 makes 1. So 870, or sorry, not 875, 825, that's the full width, minus 1 will be 725. And that will be here our exact width. So at the moment we have here, it will break here. Of course, what we need to indicate then is the break. But also the starting point that we need to move is 0 0.5 inch to the right first and then to start here writing and then here it will stop and continue on the next line. So now we have this and we can use here a semicolon and if we save this most likely it will not work at all or does nothing at all. You can see here we didn't indicate yet to draw the text or the font. So what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to say here uh, what we can say here is PDF, and we say dot text, and then what I want to do here is indicating the first one is of course the X position. Remember here we have the X, that's again 0 0.5. And then here, comma, will be the height, which will be 0 0.5, but this will be looped through every item. So what we need to do here is just, for the sake of it, I'm going to create a constant, or sorry, not even a constant, it should be a let value because we're going to loop through this. And let's say here the vertical offset. And the vertical offset equals 0 0.5 as well, because that is basically, if we go back here, there's this point here. However, if we have a new line, basically we need to recopy the command of the 0 0.5 for everyone, plus the X amount of pixels that are going down here, because we have to push it down down. So we are basically making an array with new text with every time a X amount of pixels going down. So, that's this one here, all right, so then we can say here the vertical offset. And we need this because later on we will loop through this with a very dynamic number. So in here, then we say here plus, so here we do the following, plus, and then what I want to do here is how many pixels is our font? Well, our font size is 12 pixels, very important here. So we're going to say plus 12 divided by 72. And you might wonder, all right, why do we need to divide by 72? Remember the PPI 72, where we indicated inch. 
very important. If you don't do this in advance, you will have a huge trouble with repositioning afterwards. So that's why. Because what we want to do is we want to know, because the font size is 12, means that there are 12 pixels. So we need to get in one inch, there are 72 pixels. So we get 12 of the 72 pixels. And that's the amount of pixels we're going down. Very important to understand. That. And then once we did that, say comma, then we do here the text lines. We're going, to, we're going to grab the text lines here. So once we did that, what I want to do is after we did this item, we want to loop through it with a dynamic value. So basically this here is somehow a loop. And then we're going to say a plus equal. So we add up. What do we add up here for every text line? Because we might have more text lines or more more lines based on our long text. For every text line dot length was a plus 0 0.5, which is basically our margin here. And then of course this multiplied by 12 divided by 72. Meaning if you would have two lines of text or uh, two two lines, so that would mean that we need to go this, multiply it how many times we have this length, let's say we have two of those, we will have here uh, we need to go 24 pixels down and then after that it's 36 and after that we go x amount x amount etc etc so you can imagine that once we did that send a column here and then we can say here a4 dot uh, we're making the saving file save this refresh and let's see if we have now the desired item there you are you can see here this is a long text and it keeps on going and here exactly really matching fit here almost too perfect to be honest i would say this would be better if we here however this is basically what we need. So if we can extend this text here now, copy this, put it in there, put it in there, put it in there, and put it in there, save that. Go back here, refresh. Now we have this very long text. Click on that. There we are. As you can see, it keeps on going. And what is very important, let me show you here. Basically, I want to show you also this so you have an understanding of what this text line is or what we did here. So we're going to do the text lines, save that. Refresh. Open up the console. You can see here what we really did was we create an array. An array for every text line once it hits, basically, once it hits 725. It will continue on, and that is basically what we did here, making sure that once it hits here, this specific point, move on next line. And all these lines here is new, so what, you can give it even numbers. Let's say here 1, and we're we'll putting it 2. A year a three and then uh well maybe a four let's see five six 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 seven 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 and then eight 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 nine 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 and then finally zero 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 all right so if i save that now and then refresh again so we have all these numbers you can see here if you click on this you can see we get here one and then somewhere we have here along the lines it's two where exactly it's quite tough to see because it's a very long text but you probably get it all right. You can see here the sixth one is triple eight, and then here again, again, again. So this is basically how it works. It breaks it down the moment it hits the size of it. And this is how we can wrap the text using the split text to size in JSPDF.